Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Here is my second entry for the Global Virtual Orchid Show of 2020. And unfortunately, the buds haven't all opened yet. In fact, most buds haven't opened, but I'm happy to show it to you anyway, because I wasn't expecting the buds to be open in the first place. I thought it would take like another week or two, but here she is. The Cloetia Grace Dunn. And now this is, I know I say this with almost all my orchids, but this is, I think, another one of my favorites. Maybe even my second most right after the mini mark. It competes with the mini mark, but I'll tell you why it doesn't win towards the end. The Cloetia Grace Dunn has amazingly fragrant flowers. Just sitting here, a little ways away in front of the camera, this waft of nutmeg and cinnamon just comes in and really makes my mouth water. It's amazing, guys. I, I, I really can't undersell the fragrance on this plant. And then on top of that, you have these beautiful blooms. And they remind me a bit of fairies somehow. They have this kind of fairy tale look to them. They're all fragile and demure, and they have these cute little hairs on them. And yet you have that beautiful orange lip on the inside of the throat, just creating this wonderful contrast. I, I really, really like this plant. Now, since it's a Cloetia, the bulbs have more of a conical shape than most Catacetinae will have. Um, which gives us, I, I think it kind of adds to this cute look that it has going on, like all this kind of round plumpness to it. Um, and which just suits the flowers perfectly, in my opinion, because if anything, they are cute. As you can see, there's three more spikes in the making, each with roughly 10 flowers on them. And I'm really looking forward to the entire display because the smell will be intoxicating. I am sure of it. I wish I could bottle it up and ship it to you guys. I really do. But until then, you'll have to do with some close-ups of these freshly opened flowers. So there you have her, the Cloetia Grace Dunn. I can fully recommend her for any orchid collector or enthusiast. It's just an absolute beauty. But I promise to tell you why it isn't my favorite orchid. And that has a very simple reason, that being it's a catacetin type. And catacetin types tend to flower for very short period of times, very disappointingly short periods of times. Now, what I remember from last year when I had this one in bloom is that it lasted a maximum of about three to four weeks. So that's not bad. But if you compare it to something like the Mini Mark, which I have right here, well, this baby is in bloom for maybe three months. And that's quite a difference, isn't it? But of course, the mini mark doesn't have the Cloetia scent. So that was my second entry to the Global Virtual Orchid Show of 2020. The lovely Cloetia Grace Dunn. And I am looking forward to seeing all of your submissions. I'm sure there's going to be such an amazingly large and wonderful collection of orchids out there for all of us to see. Look up hashtag GVOS2020 and find all those videos and all those orchids. And of course, at some point, perhaps we can all vote on our own personal favorites. So have a wonderful day, everyone, and enjoy the orchid show.